Hello, fourth graders. Welcome back. This is Go Math, Grade 4, Unit 1, Place Value, Addition and Subtraction to 1 Million. This is Lesson 1.2, Read and Write Numbers. Write to the lesson. Read and write numbers. How can you read and write numbers through the hundred thousands? Well, let's unlock the problem. The International Space Station uses 262,400 solar cells to change sunlight to electricity. Write 262,400 in standard form, word form, and expanded form. This is what we'll be learning in this unit or in this uh, lesson, how to write numbers in standard form, word form, and expanded form. It says use a place value chart. Each group of three digits separated by a comma is called a period. Each period has hundreds, tens, and ones. The greatest place value position in the thousands period is hundred thousand. So here's a period here, um, hundreds, tens, ones, and then here's a period here in the ones, hundreds, tens, ones. So if we write in this um, chart, 262,400, we would write it 262,400. The number 262,400 has two periods. It has the thousands and the ones. So we, it breaks right here. We have the thousands and we have the ones. So in standard form, we're going to write the number 262,400. In word form, we're going to write it out in words, 262,400. In expanded form, think of expanded form as if you're taking the number and you're stretching it like a rubber band. You'd write 200,000 plus 60,000 plus 2,000 plus 400. Very important right here, boys and girls. Um, if you forget what is standard form, word form, and expanded form, make sure you come back to this page. It says try this. Use place value to read and write numbers. Standard form. Um, it says the word form is 92,000 170. If I write that in standard form, it's 92,000 comma 170. Now in expanded form, it would be 90,000 plus 2,000 plus 100 plus 70. All right, let's look at the standard form of 200,007. Word form would be 200,007. Expanded form would be 200,000 plus 7. Right, next page. It says, how can you use place value and period names to read and write 324,904 in word form? Well, I put this over here for you, boys and girls, and I wrote 324,904. Okay, how can I use place value and period names to write 324,904 in word form? Well, I can write 324 in the thousands period and 904 in the ones period. I can do it in a chart just like this. So I can read and write the number as 324,904. All right, it says read and write num um, the number in two other forms. All right, so this is written in the word form, and I wrote it in the expanded form, 400,000 plus 8,000 plus 10 plus 7, and in standard form, 408,017. 408,017. Now, this is in, on, um, in um, uh, standard form right here. Okay, so I have to write in an expanded and um, written form. So in expanded form, it would be 600,000 plus 5,000 plus 50 plus 8. And in written form, it would be 65,058. Okay, now these two, th these problems here, I want you to do on your own. 
and when you're fin or I want you to stop the video and I want you to do these problems on your own. After you've finished the problems, I want you to start the video up, go to the next page to see what the answers are. But please, boys and girls, do them on your own before you go to the next page. Don't don't cut corners. You need to practice this and let's make sure that you know how to do it. Okay, boys and girls, let's go ahead and take a look at these answers. It says, read and write the numbers in two different forms. They're writing it in the um, written form, 508,000. So you would write it in the standard form like this, 508,000. And in the sp expanded form, 500,000 plus 8,000. All right, number five says 40... Um, 40,619, um, that's in the written form, so in the standard form it would be um, 46,619, um, that's the standard form, and in the expanded form, 40,000 plus 6,000 plus 10 plus 9. All right, 570,020, that is in the standard form. To write it in um, written form would be 570,020. In expanded form, 500,000 plus 70,000 plus 20. Um, number 7, 400,000 plus 60,000 plus 5,000 plus 100. That is in the expanded form. Writing that in the um, standard form, I'm sorry, that is in the expanded form. Writing it in the standard form is 465,100. And then in the written form, 465,100. Let's look at number eight. During the week of the um, country fair, 15,690 entry tickets were sold. Is it correct to write the number as 15,069? Is that correct? No, it's not correct because the number is 15,609, not 69. Let's look at number 9. There were 94,172 people at the football game on Saturday. On Monday, 1,000 fewer people were at the football game. In word form, how many people were at the football game on Monday? So it's going to be 1,000 fewer people than 94,172. So it would be 93,172 because that would be 1,000 less. Richard got 263,148 hits when he did an internet search. What is the value of the digit 6 in this number? Explain. Well, the digit 6 is 60,000. I know that the digit 6 is in the, I know this because the digit 6 is in the 10 thousandths place and 6 10 thousandths is 60,000 is 60,000. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at number 11. It says Yvonne wrote the numbers 16,918 and 64,704 on the board. Which of the numbers has a greater value in the thousands place? Well, look what I did, boys and girls. I wrote the two numbers over here. Now I can compare the thousands place. Ones tens, hundreds, thousands. Which number has the bigger number in the thousands place? It would be 16,917. All right, number 12. Number 12 is tricky and you have to work these types of problems out like I did over here. It said Matthew found the sum of three thousands, four hundreds, three tens, one one plus four thousand eight hundreds three tens and five ones and I put that over here three thousands four hundreds three tens one one 
4,800, 310s, and 5 ones. He found the sum of that, okay? That means he added 3,000s and 4,000s is 7,000s, 400s plus 800s is 1,200s, 310s and 310s is 610s, 1-1s one, one and 5-1s is 6-1s. When you add that up, you get 8,266, so we're halfway through the problem. Now we need to figure out what Victoria has. Okay, so now let's work on Victoria, what Victoria um, has um, added, the sum of Victoria's number. Now remember, Matthew has 8,266, and we want to know who had the greater sum and what was the greater sum. So Victoria had 5,700 four ones. 3,000s, 200s, 310s, and 1-1 one, one for the sum of 8,935. So Victoria had the greater sum with 8,935. Remember, boys and girls, you need to work these problems out. Paper, pencil, whiteboard, whatever you need to do to work these problems out, work them out. All right, it says use the table for 13 through 15, and here is the table that we're going to be using. Which city has the population of 255,124? And I look here, and I see Greensboro has the population of 255,124. It says, write the population of Raleigh in expanded form and word form. Expanded form of Raleigh, right here, 405,612, would be 400,000 plus 5,000 plus 600 plus 10 plus 2. In written form, it would be 405,612. All right, what's the error? Sophia said that the expanded form of 605,970 is 600,000 plus 50,000 plus 900 plus 70. Describe Sophia's error and give the correct answer. Well, if I look at this, it is she is trying to write in expanded form 605,000. She wrote 600,000 plus 50,000, so that would be 65,000. So Sophia's error uh, is wrong. Um, Sophia wrote the value, the wrong value for the digit 5 is in the thousands place and the value of 5,000. The expanded form would be 605,970 is 600,000 plus 5,000 plus 900 plus 70. Boys and girls, let's look at number 16. Mark tossed six balls while playing a game. Three balls landed in one section and three balls landed in another section. His score is greater than 100,000. What could his score be? Well, what do we know? We know that three balls landed in one section and three balls landed in another section and his score is greater than 100,000. How can you use what you know about place value to find the score of Mark's score? Boys and girls, um, there are several, several ways or answers to this question. But as long as the answer to your question, to the question, is greater than 100,000, it is correct. Okay, so this is just one way to answer the question. Since I know the score is greater than 100,000, I can use what I know about place value in an expanded form to find a possible answer. Three balls could land in the 100,000 section, and three balls could land in the 10,000 section. So 100,000 plus 100,000 plus 100,000 plus 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 10,000 is 330,000. There are many possible solutions as long as the six balls 
land in more than 100,000. So you could not have three balls in 10,000 and three balls in 1,000 or even six balls in 10,000 because then it would not be greater than 100,000. All right, so it says draw a diagram to show one way to solve the problem. Well, this is one way that we solved it. Three balls in 10,000 and three balls in 100,000. Now, three balls could have landed in the 100,000 section and three balls could have landed in the 10,000 section and Mark's score could have been 330,000. But what if one ball landed in 100,000 and five balls landed in 10,000? Would that still be greater than 100,000? Yes, it would. As long as one of the balls landed in the 100,000 section, the answer would be correct. You, you would have a correct answer, okay? All right, it says, what is another way to write? We're here at 17. What is another way to write 615,504? Mark all that apply. 615,004? 615,004. 14. Could that be right? Are we looking at 14? No, B cannot be right. 60,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,004. Are we talking about 60,000 or are we talking about 615,000? We're talking about 615, so C cannot be right. 600,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 4. There you go. One answer is D, that is an expanded form, and one answer is A, 615,004, that is in word form. All right, boys and girls, I need to make sure that you have completed the first four pages that we did together. Make sure that everything in your workbook is correct. If you have to go back into the video to mark some of your answers in, get them in there. Make sure it is 100% correct. I've given you all the answer. We worked everything out, so there should be no excuse for you not to have correct answers. Okay, your job now is to answer this page here, okay, and you need to answer this page. Boys and girls, make sure you write your answers out the same way that I did when we were doing it together. When you have completed, send me a picture of both of the pages, a snap shot of both of the pages. I will grade it. I will go over it. If you have something wrong, I will make sure that I get back with you so that we can correct it. This is the end of the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Awesome Possum Classroom 451. If you like, if you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com. I will send you the link. Have a great day, boys and girls, and I can't wait to see your work.